Hi, and welcome to another edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. When Nikon introduced firmware 2.0 for the Z8 a few months back, there were a couple things that would appeal to, at least you would think, to portrait photographers. Now, portrait picture control has been on Nikon cameras for years, and of course it is on the Z8. But with firmware 2.0, they introduce an additional portrait picture control, rich tone portrait. So in this video, I'm going to evaluate rich tone portrait. It's uh, supposed to give you warmer, richer tones. And uh, so we're going to look at some pictures of a mannequin and of my cousin taken with these modes. Now, in addition to that, they also introduced a softening mode, a portrait softening mode. And uh, actually, there are three of them. There, It's called skin softening. And uh, you could either have it set to off. Now, you would normally access that through the photo shooting menu. But uh, for purposes of this test, I put it into my eye menu on the lower right. And right now you could see in yellow there, it says that it is off. But in addition to off, you also have a low setting, a normal setting, and a high setting. Now I had high hopes for these settings. Uh, most times when I shoot portraits, I end up doing retouching, and usually I will soften the skin, uh, usually through Photoshop. And uh, always, most people need some diffusion. And uh, so I was hoping that that would eliminate the need for me to do this. So I set up my mannequin, my trusty mannequin. And you know, one of the things I like about using the mannequin is uh, she doesn't move. Same expression, looks exactly the same in every shot, and you can really see the differences when you change things like picture controls. Now, on the left is portrait picture control, and on the right is the new one, which came with firmware 2.0 rich tone portrait control. And you can see it's a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. Now, I included the color checker chart to see if we could see any changes there. And I think if you look at the squares on the right, they look a little richer. I guess that's why they call it rich tone portrait control. The colors look a little bit more saturated to me. It's not a big difference, uh, but I think there is definitely a difference. So then what I wanted to do is see what this skin softening would do. So the image on the far left has no skin softening, and then it goes up from low to normal to high. Now, the mannequin has very soft skin, <laughs> so I really don't see any difference. Now, I'm going to include all these images in an online gallery, which you could access and download and look at all these images for yourself. In fact, in additional image to, images to what you are seeing here in this video. So here we are with rich tone on the left with no skin softening and rich tone on the right with normal skin softening. And again, I don't see any difference. So the mannequin, as I said, has smooth skin. So maybe that was the reason, right? Maybe we didn't see any uh, difference because there's no human skin to soften. So I enlisted the help of my cousin at a family gathering for Easter. And uh, I asked her if she could stay still. I asked her to be a mannequin, be a human mannequin. And she did great. She did not move. I said, keep the same expression. Uh, you'll notice a little difference in, in that I moved a little. And I was using the uh, 135, 1.8. I had it set at F2. And uh, you could see here, I wanted to see how this rich tone would affect human skin. And you can see a, a difference here. It's more noticeable than on the mannequin. 
And I prefer a warmer skin tone. I would like this image on the right to be a little lighter. Now, I could have lightened it, uh, but I didn't choose to do that. I wanted to see exactly what the difference is when the exposure remained the same. And of course, I could have lightened it in Photoshop. But I think I prefer the tone, the warmer tone of the skin. I just don't prefer the darkening. You know, it even seems like it increased the contrast. And I don't think the lighting changed. It was, it was, uh, we were in open shade. So I think uh, this is something I'm going to have to evaluate further, maybe trying to increase exposure a little bit when uh, shooting in rich tone uh, portrait, but uh, I'm not sure. So uh, I'd like you to evaluate it. You're going to be able to access all these images and see what you think. Play around with the images. Let me know what you think. So then I uh, set the camera back for portrait picture control and uh, took a shot with low softening, normal softening, and high softening. And honestly, I couldn't see a difference between no softening and low softening and normal softening. I think there's a slight difference with high softening. Now, you're going to have individual images that you can access with all these settings. And uh, so look at them. Tell me what you think. Uh, the image on the right with the high softening looks a little bit warmer. I actually prefer that to the rich tone image. So uh, I don't know. Does the skin get a little warmer with the additional softening? Not sure, but I don't see a huge difference with the softening. But uh, I think I kind of like it. I think I kind of like portrait with high softening the best. So then I went to rich tone with the same thing. I shot at low softening, normal softening and high softening and uh it seems it also especially noticeable here i think it lowered the contrast a little bit i kind of like that image on the right a little bit better even though i think my favorite one is with the regular portrait picture control and um high softening so uh you know what it's something if you have a Z8 and you want to play around with it, you know, and you're a portrait photographer, why not? I always have to retouch finished portraits, and uh, I don't think this softening effect is going to save me much time when doing retouching. So uh, that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And any questions you may have concerning this, or again, I'd like to hear your thoughts when you look at the images that I have provided and let me know what you think, or if you have shot with this mode on the uh, Z8 with this rich tone portrait control or use skin softening, let me know how you feel about it. And just a big thank you to my cousin for having the patience to stand there for a few minutes while I took these pictures. So uh, I normally come out with a new video every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I will talk to you next time.